Almighty Ben, thank you so much. I was talking for a while. I had to go back in the comments to see if I mean, said the uh, beef tomatoes, egg and potatoes. You may look fire. Thank you, man. Thank you. I want to see what people thought about it. Yeah, they, it made some good burritos. Vanilla wafers. I, I've, I've been doing pretty good. How about you? I'm having a good day. I'm positive and optimistic about my future. How about you? Yeah, thank you, Excel, for letting me know when I forgot what I was explaining. You said, how does fast food give you cancer? Well, in California, there's a law that if, if anything you're selling causes cancer, you know, it's known to cause cancer, you have to put a warning label. You have to make a, put a visible warning. I think it's called Proposition 65. That, but that might be the one for the herbs. I don't know. There's another, it's another proposition or whatever. So if you notice, if you come to California, you go, you go to a lot of fast food restaurants and they got warning labels telling you that their product gives you cancer. The first one I noticed, I was 17 years old traveling the country uh, many years ago, almost 10 years ago now. And I, I saw a Carl's Jr. He got Hardee's on the East Coast, but they call it Carl's Jr. Same thing, basically. You know, but... I went to Carl's Jr. and it's got a sign out on it that says, warning, this product causes cancer, it's known to cause cancer. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And I've seen it at other restaurants, other fast food places too. You know, it's because the, the, the food that they give you, they give you the absolute, you know, like uh, ta Taco Bell, right? I've seen a video about this. Taco Bell says that their their meat, their meat is is 100% real, real, real beef, 100% beef. But the thing is, they don't use just meat. They, they have a thing that they call meat filling, which is 70% beef and like 30% other, other shit that I don't even know what the fuck was in there. But it's just shit to make, to make it cheaper, to make more of a profit, stuff that is harmful to us, but the capitalists don't care. Okay. Somebody said, but you drink wine from a box. Um, I, I'm, I, I, I actually believe that that's safer than eating fast food. What do you guys think? Yeah, Elijah, you're, you're exactly right. I'm still a little bit behind in the comments, guys. But yeah, Elijah, you're exactly right. A lot of people don't realize all the shit they put in fast food, even some in food grocery stores. That's what Elijah said. That's true. Even in grocery stores, you got to watch out. I watched a lot of videos on how to identify if a grocery store's product is fake meat or has, or has some shit in it. Hey, I, I'm glad you're doing good, Vanilla Wafers. I'm glad you're doing good. Good evening, Lordery. How you doing? God bless you. Does fast food in North Texas give you cancer? Yes, sir, it does. Just, just because the Texas government didn't make a law that says they have to tell you it causes cancer doesn't mean it doesn't. Because the only difference in California, it's the same shit. All, and all, all the fast food places in the country got the same shit. But it's just in California, they have a law they have to warn you. Which I'm, I'm grateful for that law. Uh, Excel said, damn, that made me sad. I love fast food. I didn't know it's cancer. I just thought it's bad for you. <laughs> well, how did you think it's bad for you? Not only cancer, if you, if you start, if you eat too much, you can also get diabetes and, and, a, and a lot of other heart, heart issues, a lot of other issues. This is not only cancer. There's a, you know, it's just, that's, that's, that's what I've learned. Almighty Vin said, I emailed you. Check it later, my dude. All right, Almighty Vin, I will. I definitely will, man. Talking about capitalists don't care. They don't. They don't. They, they, they will continue to put toxic chemicals in your food and drinks to make it cheaper, to make it easier for it to last longer on the shelf, so it doesn't go bad and waste the money. To, to, to make to make it so uh, to make it so uh, to, to make to make it so that so that they can put a cheaper chemical inside of it, you know, to make it more addictive or or, or to fulfill it like like when you cut something. You know what I'm saying? Like when the dealer cuts the product, you take the pure stuff and then you take some baby powder or whatever cheap chemical you put, mix it in it. And that's how they make more money. You know, and there, no, no moral, no moralism will ever change that because it's a competitive market by, by design. So if this guy doesn't do it, the other guy's going to do it. So they all feel like they have no choice but to exploit the people in their poverty as much as they can. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, in the, e in the European Union, the EU, they have completely different products the same products the same exact products the same exact brands but there's like so much less shit in them you know because the eu and play a lot of other countries in the world have passed laws the, the stuff that we buy on our grocery stores is illegal a 
lot of the stuff that we buy on our grocery stores is illegal in the European Union, illegal in China, illegal in a lot of countries in the world because it's harmful stuff that kills you, that gives you cancer, diabetes, and we already know that it does that. But because capitalism, this is the center of the empire, and capitalists reign here unchecked by the people, they, they can continue to, to stop any law that, that prohibits them from doing that because they have all the money, they have all the power, and we have no democratic agency as the working class. Hello, Frank, how you doing? God bless you. What's up, First Amendment? How you doing? I don't know if I just said it, but hello, Frank. How you doing? Hey, thank you, Almighty Ven. Thank you, Almighty Ven. Yeah, it, you know, it, it, it's crazy that these people are such spineless cowards. And they go after a beggar simply asking for help, asking for donations, instead of going after real scammers. <laughs> like, like uh, that just makes me feel like anyone who comes in here and tries to harass me, slander me, call me a scammer. You know, it's like there's real scammers out there, there's real bad people out there that you, that you could be worried about. Thank you, First Amendment. Yeah, Elijah, there's, there's a lot of food products and chemicals that they put in the foods and the drinks that we eat in the United States, and we have no democratic power to, 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 to stop it. We, we as the regular working class people cannot come together in the United States and pass a law ourselves and say we want this stuff out of our food. We want to ban these products that are giving us cancer. We want to ban any food or drink or chemical that's put in food or drink that gives us cancer. But we have no democratic agency. We have no democratic power. All of our laws are passed by rich people and it's in their best interest to keep the laws in place that harm the majority of the population. You know, rich people know about this stuff. The rich, big capitalists, you know, they know how harmful the stuff in the grocery stores and fast food is. They fucking pay, they have the money to spend to, to get all natural fucking good food and shit like that. And, and, and they let all, all of us, the majority of working class and poor people, suffer in, in ignorance or stupidity. Because a lot of people are, are ignorant to, 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 and are not fully educated on the real dangers of fast food and a lot of the chemicals they put in different foods and drinks that they sell us, all right? Even if you know it's bad for you, you can still be ignorant because you may not really know, like the person earlier who said they didn't know, how, how bad it actually is for you. But when you're someone like me who's done a lot of research, who's seen a lot of videos explaining how bad it is for you, if for me to continue eating fast food would just be me being stupid for myself. I don't think anyone else eating fast food is stupid. That's just a personal thing. You say it's gonna be cold Saturday, bro, in the 30s. Yeah. I heard someone say that there might be uh, <clears throat> that there might be snow on Saturday. I said I like your hat. I'm not wearing a hat. I said I'm eating a nice steak dinner. It's so good. I really hope you go hungry tonight, loser. Bro, did you did y'all see that comment? BG up to gaming. He's saying I hope I go hungry tonight. Yo, somebody please send twenty dollars. Somebody please send twenty dollars so I can get a really good meal tonight and flex on BG Upton. If, if you want to, if you got extra money to spare, you know? If anybody want, wants to ups, uh, upset that guy real quick. Hi. How you doing? Oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I I'm still behind in the comments. I'm still trying to catch up to the comments and, and read all of them. But thank you so much to the person who, the person who, who just sent $20 in a super chat donation. Hey, I, uh, the, the thing is, unfortunately, I won't receive that $20 till next month, but I'm still happy. I'm still happy because you know what? That, that guy's, I know that guy's upset about it. He said, I hope I starve tonight. Somebody sent me $20. I, 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 I do still have leftovers from yesterday, so, you know, if, if I don't get any donations on Cash App or anything that I can use today, I, I'll still eat, you know. It's the name of car for an edit. Palestine. Free, free Palestine. He said, if people could come together and vote the billionaires out of office, we could make a change. Well, the, the, the ruling class never willingly surrenders their power. It, you know, we, we need, do need to organize and come together. And, uh, but we also need to be prepared to defend our democratic rights. 
You know, Karl Marx said the rights of the workers to bear arms should never be infringed upon and struggled against with force if necessary to maintain. I'm still a little bit behind in the comments. Hold on. Hey, Z-Man, that's, that's great. I'm, I'm glad you decided not to eat fast food anymore. Hello, Juan. How you doing? God bless you. How were my burritos last night? They were very good, actually. Very good. I fried the corn tortillas, too. Hello.